My name is Desmond Miles. I'm a prisoner of war. A war I never knew existed. Waged by two groups I never thought were real. Templars and assassins. The Animus showed me the truth. The things I've seen, the things I've been. A thousand years of history flowing through my veins, brought to life by this machine. They're using it. Using me to search for something. Call it the Apple. It's an artifact, one of many so-called pieces of Eden. Templars collect them. It's how they stay in power. And if the Templars get their hands on another one, everything will change. They want to make us all their slaves. When they first brought me here, I was afraid of what would happen if I tried to fight back. Now? Now I'm afraid of what will happen if I don't. But I can't do it alone. And maybe I don't have to. I met someone. Her name is Lucy. I think she's on my side. And she's gone now. She was taken away by that bastard Warren Vidic and his Templar masters. I don't know what will happen to her, or what'll happen to me. All I know is I need to get out of here, and I need to do it soon. My name is Desmond Miles, and this is my story. We have to go. Lucy, where have you been? Why did they- Now. Get in. What's with the blood? Are you okay? Look, we have maybe 10 minutes, maybe, before they figure out what I've done. If we're not out of here and on the road before then- Wait, we're leaving? Desmond, I promise I'll answer all of your questions, later. But right now, I need you to just shut up and do what I say. So please, get in the Animus. All right. Hurry. Oh, my love. Me dispiace. I, I was at the bank when they told me. Did I miss it? Am I too late? Give him here. Giovanni. Shh, my love. It will be all right. Tu sei un auditore. Sei un combattente. Perciò, combatti. Listen to him. A fine set of lungs. And what shall we call him, my love? Ezio. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. Get up. Let's go. Yeah, well, I'm gonna need a second. There isn't time, Desmond. We have to leave. Oh, really getting out of here, huh? Stergo's got some fucked up interior decorators. Stay close. Hey! You're not supposed to be up here! Open this door! 
I'm calling it in. We have a breach in the research wing. I repeat, there's been a breach in the research wing. That's nice walls. Requesting back. Nancy. Right. There they are. Don't let them get away. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Holy shit! Look at this place. What about the cameras? I rigged them to loop old footage. How do you think I managed to hide all your nighttime snooping from Abstergo? You're good. So I've been told. But they're on to us now. We need to hurry. Careful. We need to get to that elevator on the other side of the room. Follow my lead, but keep an eye out for security. I'd rather avoid a fight. That an animus? Hold on. What the? How many of them are there? Stay close. Is it animuses or animi? What do you think, Lucy? Lucy, what do they need with all of them? Desmond, shut the fuck up. Please. Fuck. I thought this card would work. It must be on a separate system, and I don't have the code. Wait. Shit. Come on. How did you do that? I don't know. Let's go. Always something. What was that in the animus? Subject 16? Ezio, Audi, Audi something? I think we've been wrong all along. That's why we need to get out of here. Vidic and the Templars, they're only part of the problem. What do you mean? I'll explain when we get there. Get where? Joke. It's for your own protection. Oh, man. We're almost there. Thanks for that. It was great. Shoving the trunk, bouncing around. Loved this it. way. So, gonna tell me what's going on now? There was a reason for the escape, Desmond. Figures. We need your help. For what? Another treasure hunt through time? Abstergo's gonna replace their Apple of Eden. The map your ancestor found guarantees it. The other assassins, they'll do what they can, 
where they can, but... What? What is it? We're losing this war, Desmond. The Templars are too powerful. And every day, more of us die. I still don't see how I fit into things. We're going to train you. Turn you into one of us. What? No. No, you've seen me in action. I'm no good at this, and even if I was, it would take months. Years, even. No. Not with the Animus. Not with the bleeding effect. But I'm just one guy. Sometimes, that's all you need. So that's why you found him. My ancestor. What was his name? Ezio? If you can follow in his footsteps, you'll learn everything he did, just like he did. Years of training, absorbed in a matter of days. You broke me out of Abstergo and brought me here just to make me an assassin? Look, there's more to it than that, but it'll have to wait. Trust me, okay? All right, I'm in. Tell me what you need. Really? You're sure? I thought you'd be happy about this. Sorry, I'm just a little surprised. I spent the whole ride over here figuring out how I was going to convince you to do this. Save it. After what those Templar bastards put me through, I'm ready, willing, and able. Thank you. Lucy! You made it! God, it's been so long. Seven years. Can you believe it? Indeed. Welcome back. Ah, so this must be the infamous Subject 17. Desmond Miles, was it? Who are you? I'm sorry, where are my manners? I'm Sean Hastings. This is Rebecca Crane. Nice to meet you, Desmond. Right, well, it's been lovely chatting, but if you don't mind, Desmond, it's best we get straight to work. Time is precious. Doubly so these days. We've got everything set up and ready, Lucy. Just say the word and we'll get going. Here, I brought you something. A parting gift from Abstergo. Whoa! The memory core! This is amazing. With their data, things are gonna go a lot faster. I'll get to work on merging the code. Hey, Desmond. What's up? Just wondering what your role is in all this. I take care of Baby. It's my job to keep her up and running. Baby? You mean the Animus? Actually, I prefer Animus 2.0, since Baby's twice as awesome as anything you'll find at Abstergo. The Templars might have deeper pockets than us, but they've got no ambition, no passion, no competitive edge. That's why, even with all their resources, anything they can do, I can do better. Faster, too. Anyway, take a seat when you're ready, and we can get started. I just need to make a few more adjustments. Hey, listen. I just wanted to say thank you. And, uh, I'm sorry. Sorry? Yeah, you know, before. Everything at Abstergo. It was just... I wasn't ready. It's okay. No. Going through all that. Knowing that the Templars still exist, what they're planning. What's done is done, Desmond. You're here now, and that's what matters. What's all this stuff for? This stuff, Desmond. Oh, this stuff is nothing special, really, this stuff. It's just the stuff that keeps our entire operation from falling apart, really. It requires a great deal of concentration to keep it all moving, so you'll forgive me if I don't have time to play meet and greet. Sean's in charge of maintaining our knowledge archives. It's like a digital library. He'll be riding shotgun with me while you're in the Animus. So if you come across anything of note, people, places, events, etc., he'll create database entries you can consult for additional information. Yeah, it's not just databases, though. I also provide tactical support for the other assassins. You know, Desmond, the ones who are out there, actually doing stuff, risking their lives, little things like that. So, how does this work? Of course. Deep breath. Ah! Oh, what are you, a tiny child? Sean! Well... 
Here we go. Insieme per la vittoria! Insieme! Insieme! Insieme. Insieme. Ah. Silenzio, my friends! Silenzio! Grazie! Do you know what brings us here tonight? Honor. Viere de Pazzi slanders my family's name and forces his own miseries upon us. If we... Enough of your nonsense, Grullo! Buonasera, Viera. We were just talking about you. I'm surprised to see you here. I thought the Patsy hired others to do their dirty work. It's your family that cries for guards when there's trouble. Cotardo. Afraid to handle things yourself. Your sister seemed quite satisfied with the handling I gave her earlier. Uccidetelo! <laughs> See if baby brother had finally learned how to fight. Uh, and? <laughs> you have style. But endurance is what counts. Let's see how many of them you can ruin before they get the best of you. Oh! <laughs> 
Maggio! Sono da solo! Costio! Let me go! this your lip just a scratch let the doctor decide it's not necessary besides i have no money for this doctor of yours <laughs> wasted it on women and wine huh i'd hardly call it wasted and me some floorings then or have you done the same <laughs> <laughs> search them <laughs> there's bound to be something in their pockets Bene. That should be enough. Let's get out of here before the guards arrive. Ezio, the sooner we're done with the doctor, the sooner we can sleep. Ben trovato, Doctor. Mm, fratelli auditori, why am I not surprised? You've made quite a mess of yourself, young man. It's nothing, really. You must help him. That pretty face is his only asset. Fuck the day. <laughs> there we are. Now get out of here. Grazie. This... Wait. 
quite a night. Indeed. I only wish they were all as much fun. Oh, wait. They are. <laughs> <laughs> we should head home, Ezio. Father's sure to be wondering where we've gone. Yes. I'd rather avoid a lecture. Up for a little race, then? To where? Uh, roof of that church. On the count of three. Uno, due, tre! <laughs> Baby brother still has much to learn. I've never seen a stranger man, <laughs> truly. Come on, Kalkaruga. I have never seen a stranger man, truly. <laughs> I almost feel bad about this! Oh, no shame and failure, brother. Come on, then. This way. Where are you going? You'll see. Come on, then. This way. Where are you going? You'll see. It is a good life we lead, brother. <sighs> the best. May it never change. And may it never change us. should head home. Let's go. Wait. What? Ezio, let Christina sleep. There will be time enough for that. Later. Ah.
Christina! Christina! Who's there? Me! Oh, it's you! I should have known! May I come in? Fine, but only for a minute. A minute is all I need. Indeed. Well, wait, uh, that came out wrong. Come here. Oh, oh it's you. Christina! Christina! Celia! Your tutor will be here soon. Come, my daughter. Is it really so terrible that... Figlio d'un cane! What is this? Perdonate, messere! Chiedo venia! I'll kill you! No, no. That's not necessary. Guards! Guards! Voglio la sua testa! No! There's really no need for violence. You have me confused with someone else. She needed some help with some things. I'm mostly innocent. Good morning, Father. Come with me. Is something wrong? Do you think me blind and deaf, son? I know all about your fight with Vieri di Pazzi last night. And then this little visit to Christina. Your behavior is unacceptable. It... It... It reminds me of myself when I was your age. I assume these misadventures won't interfere with your work today. No, Padre. 
Avete la mia parola. I've prepared some documents here for Lorenzo di Medici to review. I need them delivered to him. With haste, father. Return to me when it's done. Al magnifico Lorenzo di Medici, mio protettore e amico. I have done as requested and completed my investigation into the Milano incident. I can confirm for you that it extends far beyond the satisfaction with Duca Galeazzo Sforza's rule. It is my belief that other parties desirous of far greater gains manipulated events in such a way as to achieve their goals without being revealed themselves. Lampugnani, Olgiati, and Visconti are guilty of the crime, to be sure. And they have met fitting ends for their betrayal. But several other noble families are implicated as well, our own Francesco di Pazzi among them. Their cause and motive is not yet clear to me, but initial findings indicate a plan, the scope of which is sure to disturb you. Best we continue this conversation in person, as I am hesitant to put my suspicion to paper. Reply with a place and time, and I will meet you there. I have also ordered Francesco be held by the Gonfaloniere until we can clear up this matter. Yours in confidence, Giovanni. Stati attenti tutti! Would the wine merchant who left his carriage by feet of the butcher? Certainly 
Ah, Ezio, ben trovato. How are you? Come sempre. I have a letter for Messer Lorenzo. I'll see that he receives it when he returns. Returns? They've gone to Villa Careggi, I'm afraid, and not expected back for at least another day. I'll let my father know. Keep up the good work. Bischero. <laughs> you worry too much, Giovanni. Francesco di Pazzi is in prison. The threat is ended. Ah. Hello, son. You remember my friend Uber? Good morning, Gonfaloniere Alberti. To you as well, young man. I trust you delivered the message. Si, sí, padre. But it seems Lorenzo is out of town. Hmm. I did not anticipate this. What does it matter? So you wait another day or two. Listen, your mother and sister have been looking for you. I'll need you again in a little while, but for now, see if you can't help them. Are you sure? Yes, now if you'll excuse us. Good to see you, Ezio. Hey, Claudia. How are you? Bene. You shouldn't keep things from me. <sighs> it's Duccio. What of him? I think he's been unfaithful. Who told you this? The other girls. I thought they were my friends. Harpies. You're better off without them. I loved him. No, Claudia. You only thought you did. He should suffer for what he's done. Wait here. I'll go have a word with him.
It's beautiful. Nothing but the best for you, amore mio. But what of Claudia? I thought you'd been promised to her. My father said I could do much better than an auditore. Ah! Oh, Virbante! Come, let us walk a bit. What? I had something <laughs> else in mind. Oh, Duccio. Mm. Mm. Lurido Porco! Ezio, my friend! Ah! Ma che te piglia! You insult my sister, parading around with this puttana. W what are you talking about? I saw the gift you gave her, or the things you said. Maybe your sister shouldn't be so stingy with her virtue. You broke her heart. Ha! And now I'm going to break your face. You auditore is all talk big. But when it comes time for action, you'll regret that <laughs> opening your mouth. I could have taught your sister a great many things. She's lucky to have had someone like me. Bastardo! Oh, 
I own the end to heal. Walk away from his own world. He means only to take a huge coin and hold. Vitello, Manzo, Agnello, sempre freschi. are welcome here. Buongiorno, Ezio. Buongiorno a voi, madre. Come state? Sto bene. And you? Still recovering from last night? I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course not. Anyway, I have an errand to run. I'd like you to join me. Con piacere. Come. It's not far from here. Let's not play this game. He spoke ill of us. I could not allow him to continue. I'm sure he's having a hard time dealing with the accusations against his father. Francesco di Pazzi is many things, and none of them good. But even I never suspected he'd be capable of murder. What will happen to him? I imagine there will be a trial. Will father speak at it? He'll have to. He's the one with the evidence. Still, I wish there was another way. You have nothing to fear. Everyone wants justice done. It is an unfortunate state of affairs, but it will pass.
Here we are. Hello, Leonardo. Madonna Maria. This is my son, Ezio. Molto onorato. L'onore è mio. Let me go and fetch the paintings. I'll be right back. He's very talented. Imagino. Self-expression is vital to understanding and enjoying life. You should find an outlet. I have plenty of outlets. I meant besides vaginas. Mother. Back to your house then. Si, si. Ezio, help Leonardo, will you? So Ezio, what do you do? He's been working for his father. Ah, you're to be a banker. For now. And you, aren't, was it? Truth be told, it's been difficult for me to settle. Painting is nice, but I often feel like my work lacks, I don't know, a purpose. Does that make sense? I'd rather contribute more practically, more directly. Architecture, perhaps, or anatomy. I'm not content merely to capture the world. I want to change it. Oh, Leonardo, I have no doubt you'll go on to do great things. Vi ringrazio, Madonna. That's kind of you.
Thank you for your help, son. Don't let me keep you from your other duties. It was nice to meet you, Ezio. I hope our paths cross again. Anch'io. doing out here, Petruccio? I should be in bed. I want those feathers. What for? It's a secret. If I get them for you, will you go back inside? Yes, I promise. Alone. I've done nothing. Leave me alone. Shall we just...
Here, as promised. Grazie, brother. You still haven't told me why you want these. I will, in time. traditional remedies and the wisdom of the Arabs. <laughs> you look stronger already. If you are not in time, we just saw my purchase. That faithless husband of mine is cheating. I know it, as do all the neighbors. Please teach him a lesson for me. Rather risky, be. Not you! Donato! If she wins, I give up! That bitch! <laughs> I mean, wonderful wife of mine! I'll go home!
Metal work here. Uh, has anyone seen my assistant? He was right here. My God, has his mind snapped? Sick and wounded. Parati, Dalla Persia. Ah, bravo. Do I know you, my sir? <laughs> Lovely tight pants. Ezio, come in, son. I need these packages delivered to associates of mine in the city. I also need you to retrieve a message for me from a pigeon coop not too far from here. Va bene. I'll get it done. Come back here when you're finished. There are some things we need to discuss. And please, my son, stay out of trouble. Hmm?
You Giovanni's kid? No, idiota. He just happens to look exactly like the man. Give it here. Don't worry, boy. We're not contagious. At least I'm not. I have a delivery from... Giovanni Adatore? Yes. Were you followed? No. Why would I be followed? Give me the package. Tell your father that they're moving tonight. He should as well. Who's moving? What's going on here? Wait! Come back! Explain yourself! Better not be looking for drugs.
Ah, most impressive. That is to clear the guard. I suppose I should find a way to stay in shape.
Father? Federico! Serezio! I'm sorry, I'm so sorry! What happened? Where is everyone? They took your father and brothers to the Palazzo della Signoria. To prison. And my mother, my sister. Ezio. Claudia. Are you all right? Yes, but mother... She's in shock. They... When she resisted... It's not safe here. Is there some place you can take them? Yes, yes, to my sisters. Good, do that. In the meantime, I'll go see my father. Be careful, Messer Ezio. The guards were looking for you as well. Listen well! I also have overstock from my brother's board. Come, Amici! A weekly bleeding is part of a balanced health. Hey, spare a thought for others you might injure.
be a fine if not. Attenzione! Attenzione! Only for the side of the... <coughs> Republic's walls. The Citta, in its wisdom, has elected to raise a nominal levy on all export trade.
hell out of here! Ezio, father, what's happened? Took a bit of a beating, but I'm all right. What of your mother and sister? Safe now. Aneta took them. Yes. Wait, you knew this would happen? Not the way it did, and not this soon. Doesn't matter now. What do you mean? Explain. There's no time. Listen closely. Return to the house. In my office is a hidden door. Use your talent to find it. Beyond lies a chest. Take everything you find inside. Much of it may seem strange to you, but all of it is important. Do you understand? Yes. Good. Among the contents is a letter, and with it some documents. I need you to take these documents to Mr. Roberto. He was with me in the office this morning. The Gonfalonieri, I remember. Now please, tell me what's happening. Are the Pazzi behind this? There was a note for you at the pigeon. It said, go, Ezio. Go now!
Congress has been postponed due to the legal concerns now confronting the Gonfaloniere. Well, aren't you a funny man? It shall man. be held sometime after the execution. By order of the Signoria, all merchants... said there was a door here. to Messer Roberto. Swords. Aren't you supposed to arrest me? No. What do you want then? For you to die! Well, let's not. Vogliamo aprire le danze. No! I can't! There are no other options! Ready? 
It's your auditory. What are you doing here at this hour? It... I, I don't... Wait, child. Take a breath. Collect your thoughts. My father and brothers have been imprisoned. I was told to bring you this. Ah. I see now. It's a misunderstanding, Ezio. I'll clear everything up. How? The documents you've given me contain evidence of a conspiracy against your family and against the city. I'll present these papers at their hearing in the morning, and they'll be released. Thank you, Signore. Of course, my child. Do you need a place to stay? You're more than welcome here. No, grazie. I'll meet you at the piazza. Don't worry, Ezio. Everything is going to be fine. Yeah. 
cancelled due to a small outbreak of plague. Pray for his recovery and the confinement of the dread death to the small, unimportant village he was in. <coughs> Maestro Corsini il Medico. Treatment with the least varieties brought back from the marshlands of the Indies will heal almost any evil and leave you feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. Giovanni Auditore! You and your accomplices stand accused of the crime of treason. Have you any evidence to counter this charge? Yes, the documents that were delivered to you last night. I'm afraid I know nothing of these documents. He's lying! Need to get closer. In the absence of any compelling evidence to the contrary, I am bound to pronounce you guilty. You and your collaborators are hereby sentenced to death. You are a traitor, Roberto, and one of them. You may take our lives this day, but we will have yours in return, I swear we will! Come on! Hey, grab the boy! He's one of them! I'll kill you for what you've done! Guards! Arrest him! Abba Tetem. Better run, boy. And fast. Very easy. Raju! You guard of his dead! Not alone, brother. I've got a little request for you. I've identified several strange markings that I've discovered right across Renaissance Italy. Now, I don't know what they're doing there, but I want you to help me find out. Rebecca has marked their general location in the database with an eye icon, and she's made them glow as well. Keep an eye out. Serezio, thank God. I've been looking everywhere for you. I couldn't stop them, Annetta. I tried, I swear. But there were so many guards. Please, come with me. We need to get you off the streets. What of my mother and sister? They're safe. I'll bring you to them. No. It's too dangerous for us to travel together. Tell me where to go and I'll meet you there. My sister's house. Just north of the Duomo. I'm on my way.
Yes, not here, is it? I think... Oh, goodbye for now. Expectancy? Uh, about five more minutes I'll wager.
think we have the wrong building. No. No, this is it. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Messer Ezio. Annetta speaks quite highly of you. I can see why. I appreciate the kind words, Madonna. Ti prego. Call me Paola. Thank you for offering your home to my family, Paola. It was the least I could do. You must be tired. Perhaps you'd... No, grazie. I can't stay. Why? Where are you going? To kill Uberto Alberti. I understand your desire for vengeance, but the Gonfaloniere is a powerful man. You are not a killer, Ezio. Spare me the lecture. But I can make you one. And why are you going to teach me how to kill? I'm not. I'm going to teach you how to survive. Come. Discretion is paramount in my profession. We must walk the streets freely, seen but unseen. You two must learn to blend like us and become one with the city's crowds. My girls will show you how. Like what you see? You can practice with me anytime. Domaci a Donna Perlita.
bene. Now that you've learned to blend, I'll show you how to use it for more than just moving around. Let's teach you how to steal. Once you've stolen from someone, Ezio, you mustn't linger. Help! Somebody stop him! It's gone. Help! <laughs> Someone's stolen <laughs> Pay attention. You must leave once you've picked their pocket. You can go now, girls. Oh, do we have to? So innocent. He's cute. Now that you have learned how to approach the enemy, we need to find you a suitable weapon. What would you have me use? Ah, but you already have the answer. Hey, my father's blade and bracer. How did you get them? <laughs> By using the same skills I've just taught you. It's not exactly in working condition. I assume you're familiar with Leonardo da Vinci. Si. What how does a painter factor into this? He's far more than that. Bring him the pieces. You'll see. Before I go, one last question, if I may. Of course. Why have you given your aid so readily to me, a stranger? I too know betrayal. Have you gentlemen What's found it? the best ladies in all the città? Oh, big strong man with big strong hands. Well, mm. Merchants within the glorious Republic's walls. 
The Chitta, in its wisdom, has elected to raise a nominal levy on all export trade Auditore, I I didn't expect to see you again. What with all that's happened? Ah, where are my manners? Welcome back. Now, how can I be of service? I was hoping you could repair something of mine. Of course. Come this way. Ah, che pasticcio. Tutto santo giorno che cerco. Let me clear a space. Eh? All right, let's see it. Fascinating. I don't know, Ezio. Despite its age, the construction is rather advanced. I've never seen anything quite like it. I'm afraid there's not much I can do without the original plans. Mi dispiace. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? The contents of this page are encrypted. But if my theory is correct, based on these sketches, it may very well... It may very well what? Please, sit. Leonardo, eh? Shh, shh, shh. Remarkable. If we transpose the letters and then select every third... There! It's finished! Huh? What's finished? The blade. I managed to decode that parchment of yours. It showed me exactly what to do. Now all that's left is to remove your ring finger. Really? I'm sorry, but this is how it must be done. The blade is designed to ensure the commitment of whoever wields it. Bene. Do it quickly. <laughs> I was only having fun, Ezio. Though the blade once required a sacrifice, it's been modified. You can keep your finger. Incredible. Yes, it is. Tell me, do you have other pages like this? I'm sorry, only the one. Listen, if you ever do happen across another one of these, please, bring it to me. You have my word. And thank you for fixing this. It... By order of the Florentine Guard! Open this door! Uh, just a moment. Wait here. Are you Leonardo da Vinci? See, si. how may I be of service? I need you to answer some questions. Certainly. What seems to be the trouble? A witness claims to have seen you consorting with an enemy of the city. What? Me? Consorting? Preposterous. When was the last time you saw or spoke with Ezio Auditore? Who? Non fare il finto tonto! We know you were close with the family. Perhaps this will help to clear your head. Uh, ready to talk? What about now? Uh, what about now? Uh, ready to talk? Grazie, Ezio. Sorry about that. Eh, uh, I've grown accustomed to their abuses. What of the body? Bring it inside and put it with the others. Others? The city gives them to me for research. Never happened. 
Thank you, Leonardo. For everything. Anytime. And remember, if you find more of those strange pages, bring them to me. Should they contain new designs, I will upgrade your blade as well. Of course. Now, I really should be getting back to Paola. Porgile i miei omaggi. You were gone for quite a while. Leonardo likes to talk. That he does. But I trust he did more than talk. I've given you the skills. Leonardo's given you the blade. All that remains is the deed. Where can I find Uberto? According to my girls, he'll be attending an unveiling tonight of Verrocchio's latest work. It will be held at the Santa Croce Cloister. Watch over my mother and sister while I'm away. Of course, Ezio. As if they were my own. Uberto Alberti. Trusted friend of the Auditore family. According to the history books, this guy was a saint. He prosecuted murderers, rapists, the worst criminals. One of the best lawyers in Italy, he won every case, in spite of the fact that he was self-taught. Now, I found a back door into the Templar's database server. I've been combing it for some kind of smoking gun. I found it. Apparently, Uberto's family was evicted by the Medici Bank. Uberto's been aching for revenge ever since. And the Templars promised him support. Ezio's father was standing in the way, and Uberto was jealous of his influence over the Florentine government. Two birds with one stone, isn't it? It looks like Uberto used his election to the Signoria as his opportunity to strike. Done. 
sorry, I'll be going. So sorry, I must Truly, have forgotten my medication. Get out of your way. Isn't that illegal? <sighs> Not my problem. Again with this? You have overstepped your bounds, Uberto. Who are you to speak of bounds? You, who have crowned yourself Lorenzo di Medici, Principe of Firenze. I've done no such thing. Of course not. Ever innocent. How convenient. At least now, we see how far your reach extends. Which is to say, nowhere at all. It has proved a valuable lesson for me and my allies. Yes. Your allies, the Pazzi. Is that what this is about? Be careful with your words, Lorenzo. You might attract the wrong sort of attention. Trust you're enjoying yourselves. 
indeed. A nice distraction from that nasty business with the auditor. You think I won't start up Giovanni's? Brother, don't blame yourself. How could you have known that he was... I say we strike that traitor's name from the record books. Let history forget he ever even existed. Hmm. Yes, if you'll excuse me for a minute. Anything for you, Beatrice. <laughs> so, tell us, how does it feel? You! You would have done the same. To save the ones you love. Yes, I would. And I have. The Auditori are not dead! I'm still here! Me! Ezio! Ezio Auditori!
Du... Eccolo! Get there! Get there he is! He must have you cut us out with him. Where do you think he's from? Napoli?
sheesh urine and rosemary poultices for your bunya! That should feel better soon. Salute a voi. See that cut of cloth before? Uh, not a mercenary, I suppose. But what you do? This won't take long. <laughs> There he is! That's one of the symbols. What does it mean? It Maybe must be there for a reason. Can you take a closer look? Hey! Try using eagle vision. Not good all day. That's not possible. This can't be. Hold on. That's computer code. Let me compile it. To... Oh, shit. It's an encrypted file. Upload it to my computer. I'm a master at decryption. I can't. It's only compatible with the Animus itself. I'd upload it to Desmond, then. I can't believe this. Hello, this is... Uh, they, they, they call me Subject 16. Listen, I don't have much time. There's something I have to show you. We have been lied to this whole time. Everything we know, everything we've been brought up to believe... It's wrong. 
Okay, um, I've uploaded the evidence, the file that, 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 that proves it all, but I've split it into 20 pieces and locked each with a code. <laughs> Can't be too careful. Qu Queen Isabella. No, not her. Uh, uh, ugh, what century is it? Uh, never mind. I've hidden the code to the first file inside this program. Find it. Find them all. And along the way, you'll begin to see the truth. What the heck? How did this get inside our animus? Oh. Oh, the memory core. We transferred 16's memory data from Abstergo into the Animus 2.0. He must have hacked the machine when Vidic left him alone between sessions. Oh, hold on, wait a second. The signs on the walls in Abstergo, the ones written in blood, those were clues. He was telling us to look for them inside the Animus. Spare a thought for hours, you might teach I think it's best I leave Firenze. Where will you go? My uncle Mario owns a villa near Monteregioni. You're still a wanted man, Ezio. What would you have me do then? I've seen posters all across the district. Tearing them down will help the city forget your face. No doubt, the Herald's also inside the public. Bribe them, and they'll speak of other things. Or you could haunt those who bear false witness against you. They traded dignity for coin. Their loss would not be mourned. Do any of these things, 
and you should be free to leave. I've added a program for tracking notoriety. This little meter will help you know how far you are between notorious and incognito. This will help you know if you should watch your actions. It'll also tell you if the notoriety level is part of Ezio's memory or not. Please, let me remove myself from your path. That's a funny outfit. Another master to life. And an outlandish hood. Bad. Damn, a foreigner. Good. It's a funny outfit. Another mask tonight. I will not land this hood. Time a foreigner. Where do you think he's from? Napoli? I've seen him before. Laju! Stop him, ragazzi! Ah, brutto! Oh, the devil! 
was longing to greet you. Got him off! <laughs> Agreed. Lead on. Get him away! 
Bentornato, Ezio. Were you successful? Yes. Madre? Ezio! Where have you been? They wouldn't let us leave. And Mother, oh, she hasn't spoken a single word since we left the house. Father will need to sort things out. Where is Father? And Federico? And Bertuccio? Hmm? Something's happened. What do you mean? No, it's impossible. Claudia. No, 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 no. I did everything I could, Piccina. <laughs> Listen, right now what matters is getting us all someplace safe. But to do that, I need you to stay focused. Do you understand? Good. Will you watch over mother for me? Then we are ready. Thank you again. For everything. Stay safe, Ezio. Stay vigilant. I suspect the road ahead is yet long. This way. This area is off limits to you. The hand that did it get so far does walk among his friends. And should the traitors rear their heads, the show will be of their ends. You have no business here. Here come your the approaches. So let us sing for joy. Strikes down the evil guardsmen. Protect the girls and boys. It is the appointed one, the savior of the streets. All who dare to cross. Cross his path. He weeps in the pouring. I hear money. What? Oh, money? Here you come, 
Any little time. Okay. This way. How could this have happened to us? I don't know. Will we ever be back? I don't know. Follow my what lead. What will happen to our house? I don't know. Were they... Were they given a proper burial? Yes, they were. Should be close. Grazie, Dio. Buongiorno, Ezio. How could you leave a Firenze without saying a proper goodbye? Ezio! What do you want, Vieri? So many things. A larger palazzo, two new steeds, a prettier bride. Oh, and yes, your life. 
My condolences for the loss of your father and brothers. What will happen now that there's no one left to help you? I have such wonderful things in store for your mother and sister. I grow tired of this game. Finish him, and do not spare the women. What sorcery is this? <laughs> not sorcery, boy. Skill. Show yourself. As you wish. Here, use this. Kill them! Kill them all! Let you, you hell, my thanks. Keep the sword, Ezio. Do I know you from somewhere? Don't you recognize me? It's a me, Mario! Uncle Mario? <clears throat> it's been too long, Nipote. <laughs> Far too long. I heard what happened in Firenze. Terrible. Come, let's get you all away from here. everything. They executed father for treason. Federico and Petruccio too. And they came for me. Do you know why? I have no answers, uncle. Only a list of names taken from a man who wished me dead. I still can't believe they are gone. Don't worry. We will make sense of this. I wish I shared your optimism. Come on, keep pace. We're almost there. I think you will find much to like in Monterey Johnny. I thought Monterey Johnny was an enemy of Firenze. For now. Next year it will be its friend, the year after its enemy again, and on and on. I cannot keep track, so I have stopped trying. These are honest, hard-working people. Our shops may only carry simple goods, but they're well-made and dependable. There is a chapel here, too. De Prete seems a nice enough fellow, but I have never been much of a believer. Did you know the Villa Auditore is almost 200 years old? It was built by my great-grandfather, a strange man who carried all kinds of secrets. Keep your eyes open, and you might discover a few of them yourself. With all the fighting that's been going on, this place has started to get a bit rough around the edges. I wish I could do something about it, but I just don't have the time or money to fix things up. Guess that's life, huh? Here we are. Casa Dolce Casa. So, what do you think? It's most impressive, Uncle. 
She's seen better days, I suppose. Believe me, I'd have her shining again if only I had the time. Now that you have had the tour, Nipote, you should go and outfit yourself. My men in the market are expecting you. Return here when you're finished, and we'll begin. Begin? Begin what? I thought you'd come here to train. No, uncle. I came here to escape Firenze. And I intend to take my family further still. But what about your father? He'd want you to finish his work. What work? My father was a banker. Wait. He did not tell you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Makeme Combini, Giovanni. Where to even begin? Go and fetch the gear in the market. It will give me time to think. But... But that's that. We'll talk more later. Some spending money should you need it. And if you find yourself in need of rest, I've prepared a room for you on the top floor of the villa. I suppose you only appear to be calm. Much better, friend. You'll see. I've traditional remedies and the wisdom of the Arabes. <laughs> Wellness awaits. That unbelievable crisis I have for you, Stimati. Don't worry. We're only staying here for a little while. I don't like it here. I want to go home. I know.
Salute, uncle. I did as you asked. And quickly, too. Pan fatto. Now, let's teach you how to fight. No. As I said, we are leaving. Ezio, you barely held your own against Vieri. You won't survive a week on the road. If you want to leave, so be it. But at least do so armed with the skills and knowledge necessary to defend yourself. If not for me, for your mother and sister. Fine. Optimo. You can swing a sword, to be sure, but offense alone will not carry a battle. You must survive long enough to strike. I will teach you how to dodge. You said my father was more than just a banker. No use dancing around it, I suppose. Your father was an assassin, Ezio. I told you before, my father was a paper pusher. No, he was born in bed to I find this difficult to believe. What is the list you carry? Do you think it's merely a catalog of debts? It holds the names of those responsible for your father's murder. Ben, I've taught you how to avoid your enemy's attacks. Now you'll learn how to turn them to your advantage. All this talk of assassins and Templars, it reeks of fantasy. Like something from an old parchment covered in arcane writing, perhaps? How did you know? You have your father's blade. I figured you'd have the Codex page holding as well. Codex? See, a guide to the inner workings of the Order. Origin, purpose, and techniques. Our creed, if you will. Your father believed the Codex contained a powerful secret. Something that would change the world. Perhaps that's why they came for him. Assassins, Templars, Codex pages. This is a lot to take in. You need to open your mind, Ezio. Always remember, nothing is true, everything is perfect. I pop. Vieni a prendermi. Non ce la fai a colpirmi, eh? Hurry up! I have to meet the lady! You're making fine progress, Ezio. Today I'm going to teach you how to position yourself in battle. Where you stand and how you move can make all the difference. Don't think I haven't seen you picking apart my life. I trust you believe me now? Yes. My father was an assassin. But why the need for such secrecy? Are you familiar with the Templars? <laughs> One of several knightly orders formed during the Crusades. History teaches they were disbanded nearly 200 years ago in France. Only they weren't. Merely pushed underground where they continued their nefarious work. Come into your own. Thank you, Uncle. 
for all you have given me. Your family. Such is my duty and my desire. I'm glad you had me stay. Good. You've reconsidered leaving. We sail for Spain in three days. But Nipote, I have given you these skills that you might be better prepared to strike against our enemies. And if they find me, I will. You want to leave Ezio? To throw away everything your father fought and died for? To deny your heritage? Fine. Come voi. Arrivederci e buona fortuna. Uncle, wait. Why is he so upset? How can he not be? Vieri's been harassing us ever since you first arrived. To be expected, I suppose. Given his heritage. Where is everyone? They ride for San Gimignano to slay that snake, Vieri. Vieri di Pazzi, the youngest member of the second most notorious Florentine banking family, this kid knew how to burn right through his father's money. Outside of spending sprees involving weaponry, exotic animals, and clothes, he was fiercely competitive. Vieri hosted races of all kinds, boating, horseback riding, running. All of them rigged, of course. And get this, if through some amazing stroke of luck he ever lost, he'd invite the winner's entire family over for a victory dinner and serve them a meal to die for. I wish to join them. You'll find what you need at the stables. Ezio, look at her. I still can't get her to talk. She spends all day and night in front of those feathers Petruccio used to collect. She can't let them go. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. She'll come back to us. I know it.
Signore, a little courtesy goes a long way. Ezio, what are you doing here? Taking responsibility. Vieri troubles you because of me. <laughs> Vieri troubles us because he's a Templar, and we are assassins. Either way, I wish to help. Va bene. Then listen close. First, we must find a way inside the city, though it seems Vieri expects us. He has sealed the gates and sent his men to guard them. Fortunately for us, the city is larger than his host. The southern gate suffers for it, so this is where we'll strike. Pronti? Ezio, here's how it is going to work. My men and I will distract the guards. Once we have engaged them, get yourself over the wall and find a way to open the gate. Take these throwing knives. Use them to dispatch the archers. I'm ready when you are. Then let us begin. I'll attack!
Done, Ezio. We are in. This way, man. I want you to distract those guards and keep them from raising the alarm. Hopefully, it will buy me enough time to find and silence Fieri. Va bene. Wait, Nipote. Take a few of my men with you, just to be safe. Come join me once they're dealt with. What's Fieri up to now? No one knows. A signal again when you should follow. Knowledge. How else to explain oh, all the troops? We're meant this to be soldiers. Instead, he's turned this into nursemaids. And why? No doubt. Angering the wrong sorts of people. And so now, we pay the price. Careful. Or do you want to strike before him like Bernardo was? Another oh, bastard. Time. I heard Vieri took his eyes. I'd like to keep mine. So let's end this conversation. Right. Right. Do you know what to do? Whoever brings me his head. Ezio, your uncle's under attack and needs help. Go to him.
Ah, Nipot, there you are. It seems my plan is hit something of a snap. Yeri's men ambushed us, and now we've got our hands full. My brothers and I will deal with these guns. I want you to go on ahead and root up that mistake. See that justice is done. It's settled. Vieri, you will remain here to coordinate the mercenary. Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. Jacopo, your job is to calm the citizens once the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone Mario? He continues to harass my forces, and I fear he'll discover what we intend. He's always been trouble, just like that bastardo brother of his. Then let me reunite them, father. There will be plenty of time to clean up the refute when we're finished. Now, is there anything else? Muy bien. May the Father of Understanding guide you. May the Father of Understanding guide you. Comandante! Comandante! What? Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> then let's not keep him waiting. Yeah. 
What are you and your allies planning? Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? I'm sorry. Were you hoping for a confession? Pezzo di merda! Vorrei solo che avesse sofferto di più! Hai avuto la fine che meritavi! Spero che bru... Enough, Ezio! Show some respect. Respect? After all that's happened... Do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not Fieri. Do not become him. Che la morte ti dia le pace che cercavi. Requiesca in pace. Take this. Read it when you have the time. Our work here is finished. Let us return to the villa. That should heal quickly now. Prices so low! Come again, please. And here he is, our campione Ezio. Oh, oh hey, hey, Ezio. Ezio! I see you've wasted no time starting the celebration. And why not? You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead, La Toscana will grow quiet once more. Do you know what that means? Basta lavorare. Si passa tutto il giorno a bere. E a puttane. What? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Ezio. Walk with me. Yes, uncle. The Pazzi answer to another. Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia, one of the most powerful men in all of Europe, and leader of the Templar Order. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes, and he will kill you too given the chance. Then I must stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right, that's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. I shall read the letter my uncle gave me. Mr. Francesco, I have done as requested and spoken with your son. I agree with your assessment, though only in part. 
Yes, Pierre is brash and prone to act without forethought. And he has a habit of treating the mercenary like playthings. I have received reports of at least three men being disfigured as a result. But I do not think him, as you put it, beyond repair. Rather, I believe the solution to be a simple matter. He seeks your approval, your attention. These outbursts of his are a result of insecurities born out of a sense of inadequacy. He speaks of you often and fondly and expresses a desire to be closer to you. So, if he is loud and foul and angry, I believe it is simply because he wants to be noticed. He wants to be loved. Act as you see fit on the information I've given you here. But I must ask that we end this correspondence. Worry to this. Look familiar? On their codex pages. Yes. Your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I start with the page I took from Bieri. Leonardo will decode it for us. Ben, return here when time permits, and we'll add it to the wall.
this danza del diablo. Ni Messer Giraldi could see this.
Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un monstro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Dio. Buongiorno. Is there something wrong? Yes, sir. Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money? Eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Serezio. Am I right? Uncle! I like this architetto! He gets very observant when he can smell money. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? Buon viaggio!
Ezio, my boy, I think it's time I showed you something. This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great-grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the Assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I'd give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure, where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought the six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. Why 
would anyone carry on like that? Ezio, you are still alive. Look at this place. The past two years have been kind to you. But you are not the same at all, are you? I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. Anything for you, my friend. Haha! -ha! You found another one! How exciting! Hmm. This one is tricky to break. Clever in its use of ancient languages. Maybe if I just... Oh! Oh! It seems to be a manual of sorts for different assassination techniques. May I see it? Wait, what's that? It's not so much a design this time, just a series of sketches. Hmm. What to make of all this? Ha <laughs> ha! Of course. And why not? What an inspired idea. Can you make it for me while I try what's in that manual fragment? Take it. I'll have my assistant set up some dummies for you to practice with. Hey, Vincenzo!
I've done it. Come quickly. Look. Take it. Try it. Thank you, Leonardo. Non c'è di che. There's someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La Volpe. The fox. Shh. Capisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps near the Mercato, where the thieves dwell. Sta attento, amico. Pouch, oh, my money. Your money. I don't have your money. <laughs> get back here. Make me. Uh, uh, get out of here? You're making a big mistake, my friend. <laughs> Enough of this. Enough indeed. Why don't you give up? Return what you've stolen. Would if I could, but I can't. I really have no interest in hurting you. So give me back my money and we'll call it even. Not so fast. What do you want? Who are you? They call me many things. <laughs> Murderer. Tagliagole. Thief. But you may call me La Volpe. At your service, Messer Ezio. <laughs> How do you know my name? <laughs> it is my business to know everything in this city. Isn't that why you're here? Indeed. I need to find someone. To know where he'll be before even he does. Who? Francesco de Pazzi. There's word on the street of a caravan just arrived from Roma. A secret meeting at sunset tonight. You can learn something of Francesco's whereabouts there. Do you know where it is to be held? Ma certo. Let me know when you are ready. And we'll go. Ah, yes. <laughs> Here is your money. Not 
like any act I've ever seen. Not a very good buffoon, is he? <laughs> Follow me. But we must move fast. Think you can keep up? That's your problem. Here we are. Francesco di Pazzi is meeting his people inside that church. How do I join them? There are catacombs that run under the city. They will lead you to a place where you can eavesdrop on the meeting. Grip that stone handle. Turn it, then slide it down. Thank you for all your help, Volpe. Hmm. 
buona fortuna.
long do we have to stand here, Saverio? It's so cold. What do you want, Ilario? Messer Pazzi is paying us good money to watch the entrance, and the dead won't try to murder us. I can't wait to go home to Elena and tell her how much gold we made tonight.
Merda! The door! Keep watch while I go look. This was supposed to be an easy job. I told you we shouldn't have come here! If I hear anything, I'm running to the other guard post, so help me God! Be back with the other guards! I have to find a way out before it kills me. to get laid. 
Benedictio Dei Omnipotentes, Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti, descendat super vos et maneat semper. Grazie, Padre. Bernardo? It's all here. Swords, staves, axes, armor, bows. Our men will want for nothing. I take this gift to mean the Pope consents. He gave his blessing to the operation. As long as nobody's killed. We're all set for the Duomo in the morning, signore. The bait's been laid, but it wasn't easy. His fool brother keeps changing his plans. See, si. We'll need to be on hand to make sure Giuliano even gets out of bed for church tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Jacopo? Do you think they suspect something? Impossible! The Medici are too arrogant or too stupid to even notice. Likely a bit of both. <laughs> Do not underestimate our enemies, Francesco. Or have you already forgotten how your son was murdered? We'll suffer no such surprises this time, Maestro. You have my word. Molto bene. I should be off. I have some other business to attend to before I return to Rome. Gentlemen, tomorrow a new sun rises over Firenze. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May, May the, the Father, Father of, of Understanding, understanding guide, us. guide us. Look at that statue. It's identical to one in the Villa Auditore. I think you've stumbled onto one of the Assassin's tombs Ezio's uncle mentioned. Now that we know the way in, I'll tag the landmarks containing tombs in the database.
I know where Francesco will be and when. But... What is it? I overheard something. They have weapons, enough for a battalion. Even the Pope has given support. Mm. Typical of Sixtus. But... What the hell are they planning? I couldn't understand the specifics, but it involves the Medici. And it begins tomorrow morning at the Duomo. The Medici will all be there for Sunday service. Along with the rest of Firenze. They're going to do it right in the middle of High Mass. But it's also a chance for me to blend with the crowd, get close, and stop this madness. If they succeed, if we lose Lorenzo and Firenze falls to the Pazzi... It will not come to that. I promise. I hope you are right. Queste spigole! Lasso! Figlio di Potana! Chi va? Let the people 
Firenze freely walk the streets once more, knowing no fear. This blasphemous snake. Rip the aberration's heretic heart from his lifeless corpse. Bring the city peace. Never has one so cursed our city by his actions. He is a cancer that slowly spreads, corrupting all we hold dear. Shall slay good sir, forever taking heads of those who've done the foulest deeds and lives by us led. Oh, that is impressive. The wreck. Where on a rooftop there's a hero in a hood. My lucky day. Wow. My lucky day. Coins where? Whoa, Madre Santa, preserve me. I'm sorry, sir. I'm going.
As God is my witness, this man Don't is... Don't listen to the so-called experts. Another time then, sir. Next time, then. Adio. Lorenzo, his wife. There's Giuliano, Lorenzo's brother. Where is Francesco? There he is. Time to strike. Crepa! Territore! Giuliano! No! Your day is done, Lorenzo. Your entire family dies by my sword. Infamous! I
saved my life. It's nothing. But the man who did this to you has to pay. Ah! Not now. I need help first. To my home. People I trust. Can you... Ah! On me. I'm losing a lot of blood. Hang on, signore. I'm moving as fast as I can. Francesco de Bassi! I'll kill him. I'll wipe his entire family from the city. They'll be erased! We ain't out heavy, signore. Conserve your energy, or I'll be delivering a corpse. We're almost there now. I had hope of that. I want no part of that. So I have not forgotten how to wage war. I want no part of this! Damn, no. I shoot! Just leave me alone! All right, these... Lorenzo has been wounded! Aprite la porta! What's the password? Poliziano, open the maledetta porta! By the Christ greatest, come in, quickly! The city is at war! Hurry! Wait. I am in your debt. Tell me. Why did you help me? You are not the only one who lost a brother to the Pazzi. My name is Ezio Auditore. Ah. You're Giovanni's son. Your father was a good man. He understood honor. Loyalty. The Pazzi thugs are storming the Palazzo della Signoria. We cannot hold them off much longer. No. If they get inside, they'll murder our supporters and put their own devils in power. Then my survival would mean nothing. I have to... Uh, uh. Francesco de Pazzi. Help save our city, Auditore. Kill him. I want no part of this!
Francesco di Pazzi. Brought up as a noble in a city captivated by the newly rich Medici family, Francesco was taught to hate the middle class and its social climbers. Dismayed, he watched as the Medici bank eclipsed his own and centuries of influence over the Florentine government slipped away. It looks like the Spaniard offered him a solution. Rather than compete in something as dirty as banking, Francesco only had to do one thing for the Templars, one thing to put the middle class in their place for good. Kill the Medici. Giovanni Auditore tried to stop Francesco by putting him in jail. But the Templars took care of that. Signori, I saw Francesco lead a battalion around the back of the Palazzo della Signoria. I fear he may be seeking another way in. Go, before it's too late. Do what you can! Come forward. I've done what I could, but perhaps you should avoid the deeds that brought you here. Loyal servant, that dog, Lorenzo! 
Death shall be your reward. Gods! Gods! No one's coming. It's just us now. Maledetto che il diavolo ti porti! Stami lontano! Firenze will judge you for what you've done. It's over. It's all over. Meglio essere felici in questa vita e aspirare a esserlo nella prossima. Requiescat in pace. Francesco?
When I was six years old, I fell into the Arno. I soon found myself drifting down and into darkness. Certain my life was at an end. Instead, I woke to the sound of my mother weeping. At her side stood a stranger, soaking and smiling at me. My mother explained that he had saved me. And so began a long and prosperous relationship between two families. Yours and mine. I am sorry I could not save your father and brothers. You have nothing to apologize for. I believe Jacobo de Pazzi played a part in their deaths. They attack on you as well. I need to find him. That coward fled before we could arrest him. Have you any leads? No. They've hidden themselves well. Hey. Jacopo was not the only conspirator to escape. If they work with Jacopo, they were surely involved in the plot against my family as well. Give me their names. Antonio Maffei. Archbishop Francesco Salviati. Stefano da Bagnone. And Bernardo Baroncelli. Bene. I will go and see my uncle. He has men stationed in the countryside. Wait. Before you go. A codex page. I took it from the files of Francesco di Pazzi, seeing as he clearly no longer needs it. I've always had an interest in things of antiquity, as did your father. It is meaningful to me as well. Then consider it a gift. Che il Signore ci protegga. Jacopo di Pazzi, the money. This guy was the head of the Pazzi family, and he ran their banking business. An associate of Lorenzo de' Medici, he had nothing against him personally. So he hired four Templar hitmen to take care of the situation for him. Bernardo di Bandino Baroncelli, brought up to hate the Medici family for the exile of his cousins, Baroncelli ran the numbers in the Pazzi bank by day, and murdered for the Templars at night. It was Baroncelli who delivered the first blow. Stefano de Bagnone. Known for his cruelty, Bagnone was trained in Rome as a Templar butcher. It was Bagnone who stabbed Lorenzo de' Medici in the back. Antonio Maffei. Witness to the sacking of Volterra by Florentine mercenaries, Maffei blamed Lorenzo. He joined the Templars to seek revenge. It was Maffei who slashed Lorenzo's neck. Archbishop Francesco Salviati. Convinced he would be the next Archbishop of Florence, Salviati was enraged when Lorenzo stood in his way. But the Templars were there to heal his wounds. It was Salviati who marched their troops into the city. I've marked the Palazzo Medici on your map. In order to achieve 100% sync with Ezio's life, you should go explore it. Please move it before the evening procession of 
I'm sorry. Oh, oh please, sir. Please, please, I'll go. I'm I gone. Go. I go. Forget me, oh my Madonna Lucia. Ezio, thank God you're all right. This madness with the Medici and the Pazzi, is this why you pursued Francesco? Not exactly. Well, whatever your reasons, the city is safe again thanks to you. Now tell me, how may I be of service? Ah, another page. Aha, it's a similar cipher to the last one. This won't take long. Interesting. Hmm. Indeed. I see. It's another blade design for delivering poison. Can you build it? See, it won't take very long. I just need to find a way to hollow out the blade without sacrificing it. It's all right, Leonardo. Just do what you need to do. All done. I filled your blade with a bit of poison to start with. Should you run out, just visit a doctor. Poison? From a doctor? In high enough doses, that which cures can kill. I am in your debt once more, my friend. Anytime, Ezio. Anytime.
Yeah. <laughs> 